It's official in the last six hours, recreational marijuana became legal here in Minnesota. It's one of 77 new laws that took effect overnight. Minnesota joins now 22 other states in legalizing the drug after decades of failed attempts. CC's live at the Capitol breaking down what you need to know this morning. Hey, CC. Hey, good morning. So right now, anyone who's 21 years or older, they can carry up to two ounces of that cannabis flower and eight grams of the concentrates. But the new law does prohibit uh, any open cannabis products inside a motor vehicle, kind of similar to the open bottle law. Now, there have been growing questions about driving while high and law enforcement officials drew several parallels to driving while drunk. Officials say if a trooper stops a vehicle and it smells like the people inside have been smoking marijuana, that trooper is going to keep looking into the situation to see if there's a violation of the open container law. They can also request a drug recognition evaluator to come help out. It's looking at body temperature, it's looking at blood pressure, it's looking at pupil size, all kinds of things like that. Um, so it's a scientifically validated and internationally accepted protocol that is used by a highly trained law enforcement officer. And at the same time, right now, minor cannabis convictions, they're going to start to be expunged. Coming up in about 30 minutes, we're going to talk about how cities across the state are setting rules for cannabis smokers. Guys, Those changes for sure. All right, CC, thanks for that breakdown. And now that pot is legal, a lot of you want to know where you can buy it. The Red Lake Reservation, Red Lake Nation Reservation will start selling pot this month. The White Earth Nation will also start selling in a couple of weeks. In non-tribal cities, retail sales will likely won't start until January of 2025. Another question we're seeing is how this new law impacts your rights as a worker. So here's what employment lawyer David Waits told us. You still can't go to work impaired by cannabis, you can't possess cannabis, and you can't use cannabis while you're at work. What's changed is more protection for off-duty use. Now, Wade says employers can't test their workers or prospective employees for THC. There are exceptions for jobs held to federal rules like police officers, healthcare workers, and teachers. Also, jobs where you could put someone in serious danger if you're impaired can be tested.